Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 16 of the character modeling tutorial. Now let's continue with our work. Uh, before continuing, I wanted to make a little, a, a few of our little adjustments. Um, there's not, not much to do. Actually, I did a few very little things while I was not recording as well over here. But you know, it's pretty much the same. Now. For now, let's continue with the lower part of the of the dress, and then maybe get let's get let back to this later on when we need to. Okay, uh, let's begin w by selecting this lower loop, this one here, and copying it, and then separating it into a new object with P and then selection. Um, I will now take this part here and simply extrude it to somewhere around here where the, where the dress ends, then move it apart from each other and then scale it up. Because you don't want to scale it up right away, uh, as you see in the middle, those join together and now I'm not able to uh, tear them apart anymore. So let's just do it like this instead. All right, now let's add a loop cut here and make it fit her body a bit better. And then just scale it up a little bit in general because we're going to use, oh sorry, I just did, at first move it away and then scale it up. Um, because we're going to use the cloth simulation mainly to, to model the cloth here. And so the cloth needs to be a bit bigger than the way it should look in at the end. Uh, first, let's add a smooth modifier here. Uh, not modifier, sorry. Um, as the smooth shading, activate that. And also, let's add a few loop cuts just to make the cloth more even in terms of, you know, quads. Those should be those quads should be rather like a real quad, not not you know, not stretched like that or something. But that weight is okay. Um, also, let's see. No, that should be good. All right. Now, now we'll have to define where the the cloth uh, is fixed at. So we want it to be fixed up here. So let's go to here, add a new vertex group, and assign all of the selected ones, the these two loops, to this vertex group. I'll also move them a little bit up to make this seem less visible. Now select. Um, Cloth, go to here and add close simulation. Then select the body and add collision. Now I think it is good enough if we let this collide with the body without subdivisions and it will increase our simulation speed. So I'll just uh, swap the place of these two modifiers. And with the cloth simulation, I want it to, um, let's see. I definitely don't want to have the close simulation after the solid frame modifier, but probably after the subdivision surface. So it should be in this order. I'll just try it out and see how it works, and if not, um, we'll change it. So I'm going to the very first frame with shift and left arrow, and then with alt A play it. Okay, so you see we have the first problem, we forgot to pin it. And just go to select it, go to cloth and pin the group. Now play it again from the start and you'll see it should work. There are still a few things that are not looking very good. So for example, we do want to have soft collision. Let's repeat this. In the meantime, we can also play around a bit with the solid fee. Because depending on in which direction you extrude it to, it looks a bit differently. So as you can see, the simulation itself will look pretty good, but there are still a few things we need to change. For example, in the end, I think it was a bit too much of a cloth that was available. So let's go to edit mode and with proportional editing on. Let's scale it down first and then move it 
towards the center like this also up here now on the other hand let's select everything except these few loops and just smooth it just so that we don't have some predefined creases in our cloth and this lower part I will simply um, scale along Z and set the value to 0 so that the edge at the bottom doesn't look uh, curved in any way as well now let's play this again and see how it turns out okay so I think it will change a few things up here later on oh and also one thing that might help you uh, generally in class simulations and uh, many others I like to set the gravity to 10 because it just looks more realistic for some reason and it gives you your result faster because it's dropping faster so let's check the reference again to see what we're actually looking for and then let's compare it to our model okay so I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, change a little bit, improve it a bit more and then go with just what we get and then improve it by hand which is a good method for getting the results that you would like to have while making it look rather realistic so now I'm smoothing out these pieces from up there just to it look okay. So uh, the reason why I keep these is because it makes this look more, um, more like one piece instead of two pieces of cloth that are, yeah, just there. Because I think this should be just like, yeah, I just think that the way the cloth is made should be like that. Um. For now, let's deactivate the solid fill modifier just so we don't get distracted. And actually, I think we should um, change a little bit about the the. We should do something about these stretched faces. So what I'm doing here is I'm simply adding loop cuts, and I move them around with the goal to make every quad as close as. This is possible, it should not be too stretched because that gives us um, some weird results. By the way, don't forget, uh, these just my shortcut um, for the feature. It is actually um, Control E and then Edge Slide or just G twice. Yeah, but I'm simply more used to this since I added this. Um, shortcut um, just for myself so I'm faster with I think I talked about that earlier well anyways let's see how it looks so I'm already more happy with it um, it doesn't look so weird anymore oh and actually uh, let's move this collision after this um, subdivision surface modifier I think that's the reason why it has some bumps at some places So you see this looks a bit more smooth now. Okay, now let's change a little bit about the clothes um, physics. So um, what was it? I think this while here. Let's try three here and 20, something with 20, it's not so important. Um, something along the lines of this. Something, 25 is what I just typed in. So that way I just made it a bit more stiff than it was before. Mm. That looks quite good to me. Um, 
let's try to find just a very good spot in the simulation because when applying it you can always choose from uh, a frame in the simulation that you will in the end keep as the way the cloth looks um, so this looks a bit boring so let's go a bit to the beginning where we had some dynamic in it and I think this here should be good of course back here this looks a bit weird we'll do some adjustments later on and in general this part up here will look a bit differently later on since it's different in our design as well so let's take this I'll make a copy of that and move it to the layer below it just because we're going to apply those modifiers right now and if we lose something or if we want to change something only this way we'll be able to go back so apply the mirror modifier apply the subdivision surface apply the cloth and activate the solid figure so that our cloth has some kind of volume and that is how we add this part of cloth I think that's all we're going to do for this video I hope you enjoyed it as always and you liked the result and I hope to see you again in the next video.